project proposal or a dissertation. What is the winning formula for formulating a research problem? Today, I will take you through to a step-by-step -step precise approach to formulate a problem statement for a research project. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe Research Compile 303 and hit the bell icon for all the latest and upcoming videos related to research. The learning objectives for today's session include step-by-step -step guide how to write effective and accurate research problem statement. And secondly, seven steps to master the formula for a research problem statement. Number one, introduce the problem. You need to insert two or three sentences here in this box. Remember to provide some general background information about the problem that will be the focus of the study. The example could include, in the United States, the primary non-litigious methods of resolving formal conflict is mediation. Mediation is a conflict resolution process facilitated by a neutral third party mediator. Mediators are dispute resolution professionals who assist disputing parties to reach mutually acceptable conflict resolutions outcomes. Whistler noted a positive correlation between mediator experience and successful conflict resolution, confirming that a mediator's proficiency optimized after facilitating approximately 35 mediation sessions. This is one of the examples how to introduce the problem. Secondly, after presenting this general background, explicitly state the general problem. The general problem is, now you need to fill in the blanks resulting in and mention, state the general problem that you, your project is designed to examine. And in the second space, you need to include the negative consequences of the problem. A reasonable example could include the general problem is the supply of mediators outweighs the demand for mediation in the general population, resulting in limited opportunities for mediators to gain experience. You can also add citation to the relevant research document that you are going to cite. And the tip for the second step is the problem should be applicable and relatable beyond the context of the topic. In other words, writers must identify a problem, a real problem, not a situation. Number three, support the problem by adding one or two sentences that directly address the impact or adversity of the general problem. You need to think about how this problem impacts people, society, organizations, etc. Be sure to use latest references, minimum from latest three years, to research to support your ideas about the existence of this problem. The examples could include, the authors noted that most mediators are constantly scrambling for work. And whenever you quote, you need to provide the page number for the exact precise citation. Number four, add one or two sentences that transition to the specific problem. This shortage of work and experience could impact the performance of mediators. Number five, clearly state the pro specific problem. Now you need to structure your sentence in such a way that the specific problem is, state the specific problem that your project is designed to address, resulting in, and in the final bit, you need to add, include the negative consequences of the specific problem. The examples could be, the specific problem is that in addition to limited opportunities to practice mediation, mediators 
are subject to long delays between mediations, resulting in lower practice frequency and lower quality of work. The tip for this fifth step is the specific problem should align directly with the topic of the study. Number six, add one or two sentences that address the impact or adversity of the specific problem. You need to think about how this specific problem impacts people, society, organizations, etc. Remember to use references to research to support your ideas about existence of this problem. The examples could include authors reported that mediators often practice for years before mediating 35 cases. Similarly, other authors have suggested successful conflict resolution outcomes increase if mediators have more rather than less mediation experience. Number seven, conclude with a sentence summarizing the importance of addressing the problem. You need to think about why it's important to investigate this problem. What will this research do for people, society, organizations, the field of study, etc.? The example could be examining the relationship between mediation experience, practice frequency, time between mediations and successful conflict resolution outcomes could have a significant influence on the formalization of mediator practice frequency and proficiency standards. Remember, this step-by-step -step guide is designed to help you develop the different pieces of research problem statement. You will need to take the ideas by following this tutorial to create your properly formatted problem statement to use within a research proposal or dissertation or any other research project. For more insights on research, please subscribe Research Compass 303, a dedicated YouTube channel for researchers. You can also write to me an email at rescom 303 at gmail.com. I will soon share another video on research methods map. All the best.